Okay, so if you have two uh, binary numbers and you need to add them, uh, we use a method where you just add them together, and it's very similar to um, adding in decimal. So, for example, I'm going to do 7 plus 3. So, we all know that's going to give us 10. Okay. But if I were to have this in binary, we can see what's happening here. If I count from 7, if I count up 3, I'm going to reach, uh, so I go 7, 8, 9, in the third one, I've run out of digits, so I'm going to go back to zero again, and I have to make increment the next one. So that's why we get to 10 here. Okay, so I'm incrementing the next one when I run out of digits um, on this one. It's no different with binary. So 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1. 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Now if I add 1 to 1, I get 2, but that is... I've run out of digits here, so I need to go 0 and 2, which is an extra 1 there. So I'm going to carry the 1. Okay, so 2 gives me, you know, 1, 0 is my binary for 2. But now I've got these ones as well. So I've got 1 plus 1 plus 1. Ooh. So it gives me 3, which is 1, 1. So I go like that. Okay, I'm going to put the carries up to the very top. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, which is 1, 1. So I'm carrying that 2's that bit there. Okay? And again, I've got 1 plus 1 plus 0, which is 10, or 1, 0. So I've got to carry again. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. Okay? And we can see that the answer to adding binary 7 to 3 gives me 1, 0, 1, 0, which is we've got an 8 plus a 2 which is 10. Okay? So I, I, if I convert that into decimal, we've got 1 lot of 8, 1 lot of 2, which is 10. So you can see that it adds together quite nicely. Right. So it's the same idea in that you, you add the numbers together, but when you run out of digits, you have to carry. Okay? Now you're never going to have to carry more than one when you're just adding two numbers together. Okay? So, um, and you won't be expected to add more than two together. Two at a time. If you need to add more than two at a time, you do it one or a pair at a time. Yep. You just add them all together. Okay. <coughs> um, subtracting, however, is a different story. Basically, what you're doing is you're adding a negative number. Okay. And in order to do that, you take what's called the complement of our binary number. So if it's zero, one, 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 and 0, 0, 1, 1. So we've got our binary um, 7 and a binary 3, and if I want to add the negative of this, what I do is I take the complement of it. So the complement is where if I've got a 0, I make it a 1. If I've got a 1, I make it a 0. So the complement of this is going to be 1, 1, 0, 0. But I'm not done yet. I need to add 1 to it. Okay? And the reason why that is is because if I were to count down from 0, I've kind of got an extra two lots of double zero, haven't I? Or zero, 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 zero. So I need to account for that extra zero, 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 zero. So I add one to it. Well, of course, you're writing in line. Plus zero, 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 one. So this is the complement, or the two's complement of this is going to be one, one, zero, one. And I add that to my, um, my binary number. One. And I'm going to get a, what's called an overflow, so I'm going to get a number, a 1 out here in front, and that's what I ignore. So 1 plus 1 is 10, 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 10, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 11, 1 plus 0 is 10. So plus why one. do you ignore the, the overflow? Okay. Because we're adding the complement. So we are, uh, instead of, well this is the complement, which is, if you look at that, that's a very large number, right? So it's basically we're wrapping it around mm -hmm. the number system, okay? By the opposite amount. Yeah. So if you sort of think about, we're counting down through negative, so rather than counting down, we're wrapping, going to count up by the complement amount. 